uh, it's just just purely his positioning. I, I'm I'm interested to see like how he what angles he takes. You know what what power positions he sits on. Um, and here we go. Jumping on into it. Can demons find their victory and move on forward in the loser bracket? Or will it be the new unknown heroes coming out on top as the plane control war does begin? One goes down early. EOD hat going over twigs. Picks up one kill, but it's two traded out. Dashing on forward, we'll find the kill. Twinsy going crazy here, but does get picked off by Gwen. Plane control neutralized. It is now actually going to be in the favor of demons as they take over the plane. And looking oddly enough to push on through. You don't want to flip these spawns on this hill, but they're just being so aggressive right here on the back flank. That was Esfiel picking up Ooh. two. And now Twinsy going to fall on the wing as well. Grabbing some time here on this first point. Should now see the attempted push towards spawns here, but looks like they want to go for one more break. Twigs going to fall first. Pushing on in its atrophy next, but he will. Everyone just drops. That's actually Joe Deceased picking up a three piece there. I think. Oh my goodness! And that's that'll make that four, five, and one. He finds his first couple of kills of the game, but they are all on this first streak. And now it's flames on this wing. I was expecting this one. Playing that head glitch with the AR. There's one player all in the back here. Twigs oh, wow. playing a stealth game while the rest of us are playing a Call of Duty. <laughs> This is actually a huge positioning here from Twigs. If he's able to get at least one kill, wow, the trigger discipline. He sees him, he doesn't take a shot. Now he's taking shots. He's able to take up one. Oh, oh, two of them line up for him. That would have been huge if he was able to take those two players out, but he might have actually done enough for his teammates to set up for this next hill. At the very least, they can get positioning here and look to try and push and make the initial break. Finzi on a two-piece will pick up some good damage on our Jodeces as well. Sash going to finish him off. And now they've actually claimed this hill, so they, they managed to flip spawns. A great break there. And I think you do have to give some credit to Twigs for setting that one up. Yeah, I mean, just... Hello? Oh, wow. Espiel, though, wow. Yeah, like, quick two-piece there. And one team oh, kill means that down. immediately flipped it once again. So, demons, despite having their hill broken, they're able to quickly get the break back on their side. Espiel now on the flank, looking for blood. He's already on that five-killing streak. Continuing that now as they gear up some plane control here for themselves. So they're pushing forward. Not going to need the trade as planes. Picks up a quick two-piece. Espiel on a six-killing spree now. Only one away from those streaks. Not the most effective on checkmate as they would be on others, but still nice to have. Now looking to claim the sill. Would look to make the push happen. It's actually quick, two quick kills coming out in favor of the blue team. Twigs trying to push on in. Twins are going to pick up win. Underneath the plane, it's Joe Deceives coming up big with another two piece. Now on the multi kill for three as he finds so much blood underneath the plane. Twigs plane for plane control. Going to drop on down here. Not going to find anyone just yet. Looking for the kill. Almost gets it, but it gets the one for one. As flames. And again, it's just kill feed all in the favor of demons. Josie's is currently 12 and 5. We were expecting it to be flames, but really the rest of this team once again just stepping up here. Sash people fall there underneath the plane. They're not grabbing time quite yet, but this team is just picking up players around the map and now taking a positioning for this next hill. I mentioned this a couple maps ago when we were playing, or when we had a stream on uh, Checkmate, how the, the submachine guns and the ARs kind of work hand in hand here, especially on this map. And you can see how that's working. I mean, Flames and Gwyn, the two ARs for uh, for Demons, have a total engagement of, what is that, uh, 25? While the rest of his team, the two subs are just absolutely cooking. They have about double those engagements. I mean, this is just some textbook Call of Duty right here coming out of Demons. Yeah, Gwyn is just so effective here, holding on his angle. There was an attempted pincer there set up earlier, but Joe Deceives so far forward. Gwyn holding down the yellow, denying them the ability to pick him up as well. We'll pick up one more. Joe Deceives, he's actually just free firing here out towards this yellow. Just look at the kill feed. It's all been red. I have not seen blue interrupt this in a long, long time. After if you're finally going to find a way to staunch the bleeding, but he'll fall and get traded out immediately as Joe Deceives continues to hold down this green area. Gonna go for the duck. Great gunplay there to pick up Twigs. Now playing wow. plane picks up through the smallest little gap. After we get up quickly to follow, Joe Deceives cannot be stopped. 19 and six here on this AR. So he runs back towards the point. Gonna pick up just the last bit of time. 134 to 13. This is Demons looking strong. That was just a disgusting spawn trap that they had them in. I mean, this P4 is one of those hills where if you have the proper positioning and you're hard blocking like the, like Demons was, it, it completely forces the other team to spawn out towards blue and it's impossible to break out of that. Quinn signing back and forth. Atrophy going to get picked up. Completely denying the ability to get any trades. And once again, while he was playing for spawns, there just gets picked up by Joe Deceives on the backside. Playing so far back, denying them the ability to try and rotate for these spawns. Joe Deceives looking for 
a new vault somewhere on the map. I'm not sure what he's up to, but stashing back and forth. Doesn't need to do anything as this team is just cleaning up the rest of the map. 172 to 13. They haven't touched the point and I think three hills or so. It's Estriel. Cleaning up here with the AR. Gonna find yet another one. Twinsy also quickly to fall. We'll find one traded back. Just he's on a three killing spree. I don't think, or no, he does have artillery. So this is an option, but the points he can use it on are limited. So we're gonna have to keep an eye out for that one. I mean, what, we're still on the first one. Now this is the second rotation and they're up by a whole 170 points right now. And this is just, I mean, I don't even know if we can't shoot knows what hit him right now. I mean, they have the FFAR <laughs> right now. They're, they're, they're trying to play for spawns. They're not even going for the hill right now. I mean, they don't necessarily have to on this one, but it's going to put demons here within five points of winning if they get all this time. Twinsy here with the FFAR switching something up and it's working out so far. Finds a wall bang. That's a three piece for Twinsy as he dashes on forward. Ew. Finds four. Twinsy's going off right now. This was a spot okay, he him. needed. Turns out it was just a different gun, but he's a little out of bolts in that one, actually. Stop over the AR immediately goes down. FFAR was the blessing they needed. Gwen now. Back on the hill, trying to grab some more time for his squad. Can pick up just a little bit, but it's actually blue spawns right now, so they could, in theory, make the comeback happen. But just through the gunplay we're seeing right now from oh. demons, I'm not sure if they can do it. Hey, that's just an unfortunate gunfight loss right there. That actually could have opened something up for the for the rest of we can't shoot, but. That number eight player is blocking spawns right now. We're probably going to see these blue players yep, spawn out over there towards P4. And once again, they just clean it up. An instant break here for demons. They're going to be able to claim this hill and they could win off this time, assuming there isn't a single they can test. If they can make it up to that yellow container, there is a pretty easy way to at least grab a little bit of that time and deny this one from being the victory, but it's going to be tough. Satch going to drop. Gwyn picks up a two piece. Once again, the kill feed is all red. Twinsy finds one traded back, but I think it was a one for five trade. So deceives now sitting here. He's picked up the AR, FFAR himself, gunning it down through that small corridor. Twinsy will pick up a two piece, one of those being his teammates, so it doesn't quite count. His flames will neutralize him, trades back his teammate, despite the team kill. Gwen now sliding onto the point, gonna hold this one down there. They think they're just gonna win off this time. I mean, they can't really push through, they can't touch this point. They're stepping off the hill, okay. They're gonna grab the time once again. They do wanna win off this time as Gwen gonna actually lose the one versus one there on that corridor. And now they can't win off this time. So we got one more hard point ahead. We'll be underneath the plane here, and it's quickly picked oh up. Demons off to a dominant, dominant victory here on this first hardpoint map. I mean, if, if you asked me to describe these players in one word, it would probably be demons. <laughs> I, I mean, just overall teamwork has just been uh, uh, some of the best that we've seen in the tournament so far. I mean, I know in, in the last match that we casted over, the, there was a 50-point club. This was a 30-point club. Like... Just something that uh, that I didn't think that we would see in this tournament. Yeah, this is Demons just looking to build some confidence here in the lower bracket. I mean, that is the largest margin victory on a hardpoint map we've seen today. I mean, even beating at the last record by about 20 points, which I mean, I think we saw like 56, right? So it wasn't in the 50 point club. This one absolutely was. This was a complete and utter stomp. And I know that Demons is going to be feeling really good going into this search and destroy map. Yeah, I, I mean, uh, they're saying something in the chat about running the control. Like they don't want to play the search. They just want to go. Play, uh, they want to play respawns. Uh, let's see. Ah. Uh, I mean, um, I'm not sure exactly what's going on right now, but that's fine. We'll keep talking about that match because, I mean, there's so much that we can unpack in that map. It really, I mean, if people want to, you know, use that as almost like some VOD review for themselves, just on what it's like to just like properly hold down spawns, the, the, the P4 and the P5 were just perfect holds in, in how the ARs were properly blocking while their subs were, you know, allowed to push out pretty far and, uh, and, and really just slay out. Like, I don't know, like I was saying before, the, both of the ARs had under 20 engagements by you know, that P4, while both of their subs had, you know, over 25, close to 30 engagements. It's just, it was just utter dominance. And, and it looks like we are actually going to skip over the search and go straight to the control. <laughs> yes, I was able to glance at the chat there and I got, I got the word on it. I believe demons have forfeited the search and destroy map. Oh. And just wanted to jump into control so they could stay on their host. Well, that's toxic. I mean, that, that, that's just about a confidence. Yeah, I mean, <laughs> I understand you just came off the giant win, but I mean, now it's gonna be a question of if they can make this comeback against this team, they're gonna feel so good about themselves. Twig's gonna fall, finds one trade back there on a win with that grenade. Dashing on forward here. They have to make this 
work, but I mean, look, this is already a spawn trap set up here. Sort of see this push so far forward. They're trying to send two to towards B. You know, jump out through the pool house glass. Sound Q has been proxed, but Wind's already looking towards these two. We'll get picked up. This might actually be them picking up some time here on B. It's almost like they just gave him the hill right here. Uh, I mean, they're pushing through open stairs, which is, you know, they're setting up this pinch. They okay. win the gunfight. One gets traded out. Yeah, it works out for them. Yeah, I mean, any of these, they just have so much confidence in their gunplay. I don't think they would have done this if they didn't. There's a melee kill going over to Atrophy that picks up a two-piece in the middle. But, yeah, I mean, it's just going to be tough to come back. When a team willingly forfeits a map to you because they're just that confident in their abilities, you know you're in for a tough one. It's Atrophy holding down this A site, trying to grab some time, trying to grab a tick. I'll be able to do just that as no one has moved over here to contest him just yet. Finally, on the backside, it's Gwyn. Picking up that one, Twinsy here with the FFAR, not going to find any kills. This A site is owned and dominated by demons once again. Esfriel holding down B site. They're trying to push different points on the map, but they're just completely split up. Switches with a pistol to find that kill. 24 seconds left on the clock here, and this will look like a defensive victory already on the way and in the pocket here for demons. Hey, the lives right now, I mean, they're actually not separated by too much, and they do have some progress on B. They actually have one tick, and they're getting some more ticks on A. However, all of Demons is here to take over A. Not even all of them, just two of them. I mean, that's all they need. They send two through. They get two for three trade. There's one player pushing over towards B. That's Joe Deceives. going to neutralize the time on this one as well. Ten seconds left. And look at that on the other side of the map. It's Estriel stopping them from making it to the A side to freeze this clock. Five seconds remaining. They just got to kill these last few members. This will get around. But look at that. They got on the point. They have time. Might just be able to run this one back as it is Estriel now pushing onto the site. Picks up one, picks up two. It's all going to come down to if after he can hold down the fort against three. Picks up the first kill. They're on A side as well. He's allowed to fall. Clock is still frozen. Is it now they got to rotate back across the map? Twinsy's holding it down here with the FFAR on this site. Picks up one headshot. Estriel looking to get the trade. Not gonna get it. It's actually Twinsy. He might be able to hold down the fort. Uh, no, nope, there it is. They forced him off. Too many. Time is up. 2.5 seconds was all that's between them and the round loss. And finally, Demons picked up that round. Hey, right, Twins trying to do as much as he can on that hill by himself. He was the last player alive for his team in a 1v12. Uh, not much you can do there. Did show off uh, some flashy gun skill right there, but you know. Yeah, I mean, not his day. It's, it's tough stuff. Twinsy has shown up here with the FFAR in kind of a odd way. I mean, it's not really the gun you expect to see on a map like Raid. I feel like it's really only pulled out uh, on APOC and a couple of other maps, but he's making it work. He's just changing it up, doing something a little bit different here on this control map. And now, despite having that last victory, they have to make defensive holds work. They I mean, they're in theory, the map score is even. I know it doesn't feel that way, but we're at 1-1. One, one. If they could just make this control map work for themselves. Really oh drop goodness. it in the face of this team, but oh my god, Flames <laughs> dropping the teabags on the point as well. Picks up a quick three-piece, denying any hopes and dreams of a comeback in this set as Gwim. Gonna grab, jump on as well, grab some time for himself, speed up the take of this A site. One more will fall, three for one traded out, and the kills are just, again, coming up in such strong favor here. Four demons. They're gonna move towards the B site. Estriel's first to the hill. Already on money. Got a blame kitchen. They get meleeed there actually to death. So not gonna last too long. Their player on the point will fall as well. But now you see two rotating towards spawns. That's Joe Deceives and Flames. One gets picked off. Biggs holding down spawns for now. Joe Deceives here with his own FFAR. Playing unorthodox here with the rest of the team. He's gonna hold down towards basketball courts. On those one clip, such a high fire on the FFAR. Isn't able to find the accuracy he needs to get that kill but it doesn't matter playing on the stairs joe deceives picks up another one and now he's just gonna lock him into spawn towards these basketball courts and this is what i was talking about before uh, if you're able to take over some of these points and just get into their spawn you can box them into that basketball court specifically uh, there's only two ways out of it it's so easy to spawn trap them there and that's exactly what joe deceives was able to do if there was ever a map to be able to hold though it's b point on raid or sorry no yeah raid it's, this is such a hard one for them to take. I mean, if you can get the right setup, two sliding in atrophies in so much trouble here. He doesn't even know it. Right behind him, gets picked up. Trying to see he's pushing off forward into the kitchen. But like, if there was a map that they could hold, it would be this site. But now, eight to thirteen, the kill disparity is starting to come through a little bit for this team. They got two on the point as well. Trying to see he's gonna hold down kitchen, finds one. Now already pushing on forward and through, forcing them to spawn out. You cannot get close to this site, and they're just gonna completely lock it down. You got the progress at B, no respawns left for this team, and they might just play for frags. 
Oh. <laughs> I saw that atrophy. Get a little bit of revenge. Uh, I think that's but what now. I four mean, four matches now in a row where we've had players shoot bodies. Yeah. Yeah, but I mean, you do what you can here. Zero to two. They really feel themselves on this control map. Demons just looking really dominant, and I gotta believe they're gonna make this one a quick 3-0 sweep. Uh, now, on a more serious note, I would like to point out how uh, the reason why demons are playing so well, besides, you know, the, their raw gun skill is just the pure teamwork that they have. Like it, When this next round starts, I really want people to pay attention if they can to, to just how on the minimap, there's always two of them with each other. They're always there to get each other's trades. That's something that we can't shoot is kind of lacking right now. There's a lot of solo chows coming in. There's a, there's a lot of just, you know, running into people holding pre-aims without any chance of having, you know, a, a trade come in with your teammate. Uh, demons is doing a fantastic job of, uh, of you know, Picking up that buddy system. I mean, as I say that, one splits off to go A by himself, but there's three mid. I mean, that's and he needs himself. Three all they need. Yeah, Flames, uh, not quite living up to the hype. He's gonna try and go for the wall bang here on the Twigs. Not gonna find anything though. Twigs actually wall bangs him back and actually just finds the kill. Outplayed through a wall. Three kills up so far for Blue, but I can't imagine it's gonna last. Here comes the kill streaks as Gwent rips open A site alive there with that airstrike. Twigs now trying to hold down laundry, but I don't think he's gonna last too much longer Wait, here. The guy gets pushed. There's Gwen. Which is in, you got the Call of Duty peak angle right there. Twinsy holding downstairs for now. Phenomenal play here so far with this FFAR, but unable to carry this team to victory. So he tries to get some time here towards A. Uh, they were able to have better teamwork there. That's how they were able to get Twins into the point like that. Is he actually somehow skates away with a kill. And he's still alive here on this point. There's three members all around him. Surrounding oh my goodness, the Twinsy. Oh my god, twinsy has got so many. He's actually managed to flip his KD to positive for the first time this game, I think. 18 and 18 there will eventually fall on the site and time will be neutralized towards B. And, you know, he did enough work there by himself at B where the, you know, sneakily they were able to capture that A point almost, you know, seemingly. Like, uh, just one person, you know, able to get a couple kills. Oh, and then he drops from the game. Oh, what? What? Okay, well, there were things I wasn't expecting, and that was one of them. Uh, we're now on the three versus four, and that was the best player that had just left for We Can't Shoot. The Twins is uh, now out. Streaks. Eric Strikes coming through. It's looking worse and worse. I've seen three sixes come out from Gwyn just in that spawn area towards basketball courts. He's just dancing around. Actually, he's going to go for another melee kill. I think that was a, was that a teammate that he just punched. Uh, I don't know what's happening anymore. It's all a mess. Atrophy will fall. Satchby pushing through spawns on this side. Gets dropped by Ezreal. And towards Sachi as Joe Deceives picks up that one. Finding the trades. I mean, I don't know. I don't know if there's, much, if there's much else to say about this one. It's, it, it's pretty chalked. This is an absolutely chalked match right now, especially considering the Twin Z. I don't know if he had scan and repair, if he lagged out. Uh, it's it's quite unfortunate because they were trying to, they were making a bit of a push there you know they they, they yeah. capture that a point the lives are still kind of even twinsy was you know feeling himself with that ffar it's pretty unfortunate there's gwen doing what he can on this point it's actually seven to seven i don't know how they're doing it, but they're running it back there's a small chance i can come through on respawns here alone flames gonna get melee it's <laughs> a good play coming out of satch <laughs> I feel like Satch has just been going for these. He's gotten too many for it to be a coincidence. Now pushing up towards mid six to four. They've actually, they might actually win this round. I'm, I, I don't know what to say. They, they're three versus four. Twinsy's reconnected. He's back in the oh, game. I'm going to spawn. <laughs> what, what's happening? They're going to take over B side two versus five on the side now. They managed to win despite the three versus four temporarily happening there. That's still going to drop onto the site. Not going to find any kills. One versus five dropped and in an unexpected turn of events in a three versus four demons actually lose a round yeah no that was i mean if i'm gonna be completely honest with you it's all because we can't shoot actually started to play more as a team once they realized it was three before you know they weren't taking as many of those solo challenges as they had in prior rounds and the the trades were just coming in all right now i wonder if there's any worry in the mind of demons is there a chance that this team makes a comeback when they gave them a map? They got one on the board. Gonna need a lot more than that to come back in this series as Demons has just shown complete dominance so far in the set. It'll be a four-man A play. No gamble had, no one on the site. Estro's gonna pick up first blood. Quick two-piece picked up for this team. Twig's on the side, too far away to contest this hill. Satchby tries to make it back here in time. Satchby didn't manage to get one. They're already at two ticks on A. One duck down, there's Flames. Gonna try and play for this Laundry Room kill. Not gonna get it, doesn't need the challenge though. They got the time. Boom, A site taken. 
two minutes and 19 seconds to make the second assault work. Satch P picked up a two piece there. I'm not sure how much it matters. I'm just not looking to close the noose here. That is flames moving towards the spawns. Gonna get picked Ooh. up. So not gonna get the spawn lock just yet. They do have two already on the frontal assault though. As Joe to see his place towards kitchen, gonna get picked up by Satchpy. Satchpy's been on a tear this one so far. Looking to make a statement here, finally drops. I may have cursed it there, I'm so sorry. That was now Estriel on the side, pushing on in. They already got one tick, gonna find trades across the board there. No one gonna be able to grab any more time. Waiting for reinforcements, that's Flame. Now pushing up through mid. Almost to the site, they're grabbing time still. Almost at that second tick. Twinsy on the back line, gonna get peaked, gonna get dropped. All right, in the two, they almost have this last bit of time. It's all they're gonna need. Can you make the kiddos happen? It's so close. They're just gonna file on in here. Flames reloads, doesn't need anything else. And that will finally be demons taking the clean two one sweep, a phrase I never thought I'd hear myself say. It was just a, a great dis display, you know, overall by demons. They, they they came into this match, you know, very confident. I, I think they have kind of a chip on their shoulder after losing to in the fashion that they did against um not grinders yeah uh, i think that they want to get back to that grand final and they want a chance at that absolutely i mean they did a great job here they're gonna have really strong momentum going into the losers finals here against team joe and honestly usually in tournaments like this when there are stream matches one team can watch the stream and kind of try and gain some intel from this from the previous match to learn about how their team or how their opponent plays i'm not sure if there's much intel they could gain from this one yeah, no, I, uh, I'm not entirely sure what much they can gain out of that as well.